I'm going to show a couple of things on this video. I want to show, first of all, how to ensure that this tablet never ever goes to sleep. Um, to do that, pretty straightforward, you click on the little Windows icon in the bottom left of the screen, tap on it, uh, tap on the sprocket that's right up, that's the second one from the bottom there, it's really your settings, and then when you're in your settings, you're going to tap System. And when you tap System, you'll see an option called Power and Sleep. Uh, this does exactly what you think it would do. In the middle of the screen, on sleep, you'll see that you have options for when this tablet goes to sleep, either on battery power or when plugged in. I would set them both to never. So if you do that, you see have many options here. If you set it to never, this tablet should never ever go to sleep, which is obviously very important when you're quilting. Um, in the case where you have no choice but to use battery power on this tablet, you just want to make sure that's set to never as well. You should be in good shape once you do both of those. Once you've done that, you can click the X, make it go away, and and uh, you're, you should know you should never go to sleep again. The other thing I want to show while we're at this here is to show airplane mode. I want to show basically how to take it out of airplane mode, talk a little bit about if we were to update software, how that would look, and then how to put it back in airplane mode when we're done. So little airplane mode at the airplane at the bottom tells me that the system is airplane mode at the moment. I'm going to tap that, and I'm going to unclick or turn it black, the airplane mode icon, and you'll see now the system is going to connect into our local network. And our ne local network, network is called DFG2. So once I do that, um, the system takes a second or two to connect. And when it is connected, uh, you'll see a little icon that looks like a radar that kind of points off to the top left. That kind of shows that your, your wireless is connected to your local area, local area network. So now that you're on the internet, this tablet's already been updated for Windows, but I just want to kind of show you the steps you would go through to update it if you ever wanted to. Um, I'm going to type in this little search box here. I'm going to type, once I get a keyboard, I'm going to type, start typing the word Windows. I'll type W-I-N-D, and you'll see as you're typing, stuff kind of comes up on the, on the screen. You want to click the item that says check for updates. This is pretty simple. If I click on that, like I guess that's currently up to date. If I just wanted to verify that, I could go ahead and say check for updates. Um, ideally, I shouldn't. It should come back and say that I'm current. Uh, if I'm not current, it's going to list a bunch of stuff to install, and it's going to go ahead and start installing it. I'm going to do a video in the future that shows how to go about this. So I'm looking at it. Actually, there's one small update it's doing right now. So this actually worked out quite nicely. So it's just a little update for um, the virus software, and that went fairly quick. Um, there could be other things to show the update, so I'm going to just click it one more time, just in case this finds something else along the way. Probably not, since I just did the full update probably a couple hours ago. But I'm going to have it check again just to make sure I'm still up to date. So at this point, I'm going to click the X and make this go away. I always want to do one, one small check whenever it doesn't update, just to make sure it doesn't need to reboot. I'm going to go ahead and click the Windows icon on the bottom here. And then I'm going to click the little power symbol below the settings. And if it just says shut down and restart, I'm good to go. If it says shut down and update or restart and update, then I know that the system has to reboot uh, before the updates are actually applied. But in this case, I'm good. So I'm just going to click a couple times on the screen to make all this go away. So I'm fully updated at this point. Now I want to put it back in airplane mode so no more updates automatically show up. So I'm going to hit the funny icon with the radar that points to the left. Uh, and now I'm going to click on airplane mode and now the system is going to put itself in airplane mode take it off the internet and so if i click to get off the screen there hopefully i should see when this goes away my little airplane symbol come back telling me i'm back in airplane mode and there it is so hope you found this useful thanks